Pepe, the Lamplighter, by Lisa Bartone, illustrated by Ted Lewin. A long time ago, when there was no electricity and the street lamps in Little Italy had to be lit by hand, Pepe lived in a tenement on Marbury Street. His father was sick and his mother was dead, and so, though he was just a boy, he had to work to help support his sisters, Julia, Adelina, Nicolina, Angelina, Asanta, Mary Susia, Philomena, and Albina, who lived in Naples with her uncle, the priest, and took care of orphans. Pepe tried hard to find a job. I could sweep the floor and put the new sawdust down, he told Gennaro, the butcher. Sorry, Pepe, business has been slow, Gennaro answered. I could wash the glasses, he told Don Salvatore, the bartender. Maybe when you're older, Pepe, said Don Salvatore. I could help you make the turon and string the hazelnuts, he told Camora Antoinetta, the candy maker. Sorry, Pepe, she answered. He even went to Fat Mary, the cigar maker. I could count the cigars and put them in boxes, he told her, but she didn't need him either. Then one day he met Domenico, the lamplighter, on the street. I heard from Don Salvatore that you're looking for a job, the lamplighter said. I'm going back to Italy to get my wife. Will you light the lamps while I'm gone and save my job for me? Oh, yes, Domenico. Thank you, Pepe answered. Then he ran all the way home, anxious to share his good news. Papa, Nicolina, Mary Suzia, I have a job, he shouted. Beginning tomorrow, I will light the street lamps. Nicolina hugged him. Mary Suzia kissed his cheek. Asanta hopped up and down and clapped her hands. But Papa sat silent and still, his face like stone. Did I come to America for my son to light the street lamps, he said. Then he walked out, slamming the door behind him. Pepe hung his head. Don't mind him, said Philomena. He's sick. He doesn't realize what he's saying, said Angelina. Papa loves you, said Angelina. It's a good job, Pepe, said Asanta. Pepe tugged gently on Asanta's hair and smiled at them, but he did not really feel like smiling. Each evening at twilight, Pepe took the long stick of the lamplighter and passed through the streets. He reached high for the first street lamp, poked open the glass, and set the lamp aflame. Then one by one he lit them all, and each one Pepe imagined to be a small flame of promise for the future. What a joyful feeling it was to light the street lamps. It was almost like lighting candles in the church for special favors for the saints. This one's for Juliana. May she have the chance to marry well. This is for Adelina. May she have a dress she likes. This for work from Nicolina in the Biscuit Company. Peace work for Angelina for many gloves to sew. This is, this is so that Asanta learns good English in the school. Good pay to embroider, I wish for Marisutia. And for Philomena, may she learn to like New York. This is for Albina, for strength to help the orphans. This for my mother, may she look on us with pleasure. And this one for Papa, may heaven help his heart. And this one for me, that I'll always be able to help Dominico light the lamps. Once when Pepe got home, Papa was watching from the window. You belong to the street, he shouted. Pepe sat on the stoop while he passed his bedtime, and then quiet himself to sleep when no one could hear. In the morning, his shoulders drooped just a little. Hey, Pepe, don't look so sad, Fat Mary teased, and Pepe tried not to. But Papa stayed angry. You never amount to anything, he grumbled. Julia took Pepe's hand in hers. Don't worry about it, she told him. Pepe, look up when you walk, Nicolino reminded him as he left for work. Pepe tried, but when he came home, Papa turned away. I don't even want to look at you. You make me so ashamed, he said. You never play with me anymore, Pepe, said Asanto. Pepe just lowered his eyes and didn't answer. And from then on, he rushed through the lighting of the lamps, sometimes forgetting which was which. 
Stupid job, he said to himself, and he began to imagine that people of the neighborhood laughed behind his back. Soon he would not show his face outside the tenement, and one night the streets of the little illy were dark. Where is Pepe, the lamplighter, said the people to one another. Pepe sat in the kitchen, his head in his arms, and that night Asanto did not come home. Julia kept glancing out the window. Adelina let the macaroni cook too long. Papa walked back and forth, back and forth. He didn't eat much dinner and pushed away his coffee without taking one sip. Dov a mia bambina, they heard him mutter. No matter how big she got, Asanto would always be his baby. Finally, he spoke. Pepe, he pleaded. Don't be stubborn. Light the lamps. Pepe couldn't believe what he was hearing. But I can't light the lamps, Papa, he said. I don't want to belong to the streets. I don't want to be grow up to be a beggar. You brought us to America to do better things. I have to study, to be a doctor, maybe. The streets are dark, Pepe, said Papa. Asanta is frightened. Tonight the job of the lamplighter is important job. Please, Pepe, light the lamps. You'll make me proud. Pepe could not refuse his father. Quietly, he put on his coat and collected his things. Outside, he reached the high from the first street lamp and set it aflame. Then, one by one, he lit them all. Each time, he whispered, May Asanta be safe tonight. Alas, behind the last street lamp, the one that Pepe always lit for himself, he found her. She huddled against it, unable to move for fear of the dark. He picked her up. Why didn't you light the lamps for us tonight, Pepe? she asked. I'm sorry, Asanta, he answered. Pepe, when I'm bigger, I want to be just like you. I want to light the street lamps. I think it's the most, must be the best job in America. The best job, said Pepe, wondering. You scare the dark away, Asanta told him. Pepe smiled and held her tighter. He glanced up at the last street lamp. You can light this lamp tonight, Asanta, and he helped her hold the stick. On the way home, Asanta fell asleep in Pepe's arm. As Pepe walked, he held his head up, and his eyes were bright again. Pepe walked into the tenement and climbed the stairs to their apartment. Asanta was still sleeping. Six sisters ran to embrace them both. Then they had to make room for their father. For the first time in a long time, he put his hands on Pepe's shoulder. It's a good job, Pepe, he said. Light the lamps. You make me proud. So Pepe lit the street lamps once again, pretending with all his might that each one was a small flame of the promises for tomorrow, like it used to be. Pepe the Lamplighter <laughs>